Hello, welcome to another episode of Spurverts. As usual, I am here with Emma and Craig. This week we'll be talking about the Liverpool performance and the result. Can we still win the league? Who knows? Uh, Kyle Walker's performance in particular against Liverpool, a game of two halves for him. Uh, Son versus Lamella, should we put that debate to bed now? Uh, Dyer's booking, did that affect his performance? The fact he could have got banned for two games. Uh, the Dyer and Ali photo that's been going viral of uh, Dyer protecting his little boy, Deli Ali, and of course Adele repping the flag. Uh, first First off, the Liverpool performance, that's the big news this week. What did you make of the performance, Craig? I think we lacked commitment on my end. I feel like they outpressed us. And it's it's frustrating because when we played them at White Hart Lane, Klopp's first game, they were really up for it. They yeah. outpressed us then. I thought we'd kind of learn from that game, right. want to prove a point, because we really should have beaten them at White Hart Lane. I thought we would have proved the point, and knowing that you know we're chasing Leicester down for this title, mm. there were five points ahead of us, we needed to close the gap, we knew a draw wouldn't do, I think we needed to give it just a bit more, and I think we lacked a bit of quality in the final third as well, a lot of our attacking players lacked some Deli Ali, Son, not Kane. Yeah, okay. Well, Kane in bits, mm. bits and bobs. Mm. I think that's harsh, I think Liverpool played excellently, I think it's hard to deny, they set yeah, up they really did. well, they were really good. Uh, and I thought we were good as well. I thought it was just a, it was a really evenly matched. Do you know game. what? I think I think to accuse our boys of a lack of commitment in that game is totally yeah, rubbish. Yeah, I think everyone was. I really, think was they going really for fought for it. But the problem is that Liverpool fought very hard as well. And I do think there was an element. I think you're right about lack of quality in the final third. Did also think there was perhaps a little looked a little bit leggy in midfield. And I think perhaps. Mm. You know, the massive international break that we've had where obviously our boys, for England especially, have been running the show. Mm. I think maybe that did show a little bit, but I think lack of commitment is Yeah, I think maybe, wrong. I think, I think, I think commitment's maybe the wrong word, but I definitely think we was leggy. A lot I of the think players, we were leggy. A lot of the players looked tired. And do you know what it is? I just, I said before the game to my Liverpool mate, I said, if they play their best, Liverpool play their best, and we play our best, we win. That's how I feel. We're just a better team than them. It's shown across the season, all across the field, uh, 11 positions. I think we're a stronger team. And I think we should have won. I mean, if we played our best, we would have won the game. But I don't think we did. And this is a but result, I don't think that's. But I don't think I that's think a lack of commitment. No, that's what I just said. I think, I think that was the wrong word. I think Liverpool did a lot to set up to counter us. I yeah. think. Mm. Um, I think you have to give full marks uh, to Klopp for the way in which the team was set up. And they did play us at our own game. And sometimes it is hard for us to, to counter that. Especially, like we said, if we are perhaps a little bit off what our 100% is. Do you know what I think the commitment thing came from as well? I feel like with the ball, we were good very adventurous, trying to make passes, through balls over the top, trying to create things. I just felt like when we didn't have the ball, we just wasn't pressing them down. Well, this we wasn't, we wasn't, the we wasn't, we wasn't yeah, crowding yeah, them out. Exactly. Yeah, but there's, there's other players in the team that need to do that. And I don't think a lot of the players are doing that. And I don't think them, I don't think Dembele was his best in that game that he's usually been ball carrying. He was strong. I think Dembele, I didn't think, I, I didn't think Dembele's performance was as flawless as it has been in other games, but I did still think he was absolutely exceptional. Well, there was, was like a couple of moments. Yeah. There was like twice, I think, where he lost the ball, which was a shock even to him, you could tell. And <laughs> well, he, we're all shocked. That's when the end of the I mean, he massively made up for it. He made a real point of going, right, yeah. from now on, I'm having the perfect game. I, I thought from I then think, on, he was absolutely sensational. I think as well, like with Dembele, they, they clearly done a lot of research on him. They double teamed him quite a lot. There was quite yeah. often two players to, yeah. on him. Yeah. Because you have to, like you said, because it's so difficult to get the ball off him. And it is a massive shock. If someone dispossesses Dembele, everybody kind of goes, <laughs> what the hell yeah. is going on yeah. here? And so you've got to give credit to Liverpool for that, because that's no easy ask, to go out and take the ball off possibly the strongest player in our team mm. in terms of holding on to the ball and keeping possession. That's no mean feat. So I don't think it's fair to say they didn't have a good game, but I think they worked really you know hard. Is, I don't is, I'm just comparing it to the game we had against Bournemouth. Now, obviously, Bournemouth didn't play as well as Liverpool. Liverpool got their tactics right, like we said, and, and Liverpool are a better team than Bournemouth. But much, even, the way, we, but even the way we played, take Bournemouth out the equation, even the way we played against Bournemouth, it was one of the most complete... Performances I've seen from Tottenham this but season. Bournemouth made it easy to play like that. No, it's they didn't. They, you're you're really downplaying how we played. I was there. I was, you're downplaying it. We was amazing. We were like, amazing. We were zipping the ball mate. around. We, 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 were, we, were, we, were, we were. We were. We were. We were just phenomenal against Bournemouth, and I don't think we showed the same levels against Liverpool. But. Yeah, that's just but I don't think it was possible to show the same levels. Not no, it's always it's always we're possible. We're going to Anfield, which is an impossible. Yeah, so the occasion. Got, no, it isn't. A, it's no, not impossible. No, it's, not an it's not impossible to play at Anfield. People history, win at Anfield. History, <laughs> like, history, no one won at Anfield. History, history is against us against Liverpool. Oh, that's why it's Bournemouth. impossible. Yeah, it, no, it's not. It's I impossible did, to get. Okay, maybe impossible is the wrong word then. Maybe we've only won there once in the last twenty years. 
But we've like, won there before with a worse team in 2012. But then arguably, but you know, you know, when it matters, I mean, there's a lot of sweet things. When it when it matters, when it matters, and it's crunch time, we couldn't deliver. Okay, okay, that's 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 the bottom line. That is the bottom line. Wow. Let me ask you this. I'm going to ask you both individually. Yeah. Can we still win the league, Emma? Yes. As well as mathematically possible, you have to say yes. And Graham Souness has been out in the media this week saying that he thinks we've got the easiest run-in of the three title contenders. And I can, I I can, so well, I can sort of see it. I, I don't know if I believe it 100%, but I can see what he's saying. Once we get United out of the way... Chelsea we have away, got, we have, Stoke away. No, I think Stoke away, no. Chelsea away, yeah, I know. But let's face it, they're a mid-table team this season. If there was ever a time we were going to go to Stamford Bridge and win, this is the season it's going to happen. Um, I can sort you know, you look at Leicester. Leicester have got three really hard games to finish the season with. Yeah, they, might have, they could have won it Ma- by then. Well, we don't know. Until it's mathematically certain, you mm. can't say that we can't do it. I think Just we beat... one nils I think after be- one nil. Well, you know... Do you know what? I, th- I think we can. I agree with Emma. I think we can win it. But I don't think we will now. I think that Liverpool game was the game we really need. Seven points. That's just, it's not, it's too much now. In my opinion, it's too much. We had we had to really show that we're a difference, but we are a different Spurs, but really put our foot down and beat Liverpool. And I thought we could do it, but we didn't do it. So All I, I need think, to say in response to it's that not in our hands. is 2011-12, Man City, six games to go. They played each Eight other. Man City and behind. Man United played each other. Can you let me Man finish? Man City had a chance. Can you let me finish? Yeah, Eight on. points behind Manchester United they were with six games to go. And everyone knows what happens. Everyone remembers Aguero. You know, that could be us on the final day of the season. K! <laughs> it could be us. Look, I know they had to play each other, but then they were eight points behind, not seven, and they didn't have the margin of goal difference that we've got. I'm not saying it's definitely going to happen. I'm saying it's possible, and I think this yeah, is too early possible. to say that our chance is gone. And the we next might as two well games, just believe and go for it. Right? Well, the next two games that Leicester have got are Sunderland and West Ham, two teams who have got absolutely shed loads to play for this season, who are really fighting. West Ham in particular, as much as I hate to see it, and I've said it before, are playing really bloody well this season. That's not going to be easy for them, even mm. for them to, with the grinding out of one nils that they're doing at the moment. Let's, let's not give Free up on this yet. yet. Let's not give up on it yet. You let's never know. not. Uh, what did you make of Kyle Walker's performance? Personally, I thought Kyle Walker in the Liverpool game, first half, was absolutely exceptional. He done his homework and he was it seemed like he was everywhere he was rapid he was covering everything yeah second half it was like Coutinho had absolutely figured out what he needed to do yeah and then Kyle was getting too tight but then he was some, sometimes too far away he just got his positioning wrong I didn't think he was bad at all but I just thought they were like they kind of worked out what they needed to do a bit yeah I kind of I hate that cliche of game of two halves but mm. it, it really was true I think as far as Kyle went because he was like you said sensational in the first half you know I think it's easy to get down because we didn't get the win, but some of our individual performances on the on the pitch uh, on Saturday were actually some of the best we've seen. Yeah. I think Walker's top of that list. Yeah. Um, it's a shame, like you said, I do feel like Coutinho figured it out, or maybe Klopp figured it out in half time yeah. and said, right, actually, this is what we need to do. Uh, fair play, depressingly, but I think it's it's heartening to see how much Walker's come on this season. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I agree. I think it was a, a game of two halves for Carl Walker. Coutinho, let's face it, he's probably one of the best players on the field for both teams, talent-wise, ability-wise. Yeah, and he had a great game. He, he did, it, he did have a great game. game. He was really up for it. I mean, he gave Carl Walker... Uh, there was one incident... Horrible dive. Oh, the dive was... Oh, <laughs> which, just, which, which Toby oh managed to gosh. nicely illustrate with a... Yeah, it was it was disgraceful. <laughs> but, I mean, he was just a handful the yeah. whole yeah. game. He was. He was and there he most... has games like that. If he could become consistent, he could be one of the best players in Europe. Imagine they had Firmino as well. Ugh, mm. I don't want to figure out. But, <laughs> yes, no, he ripped Carl Walker to shreds. There was that one, I can't remember exactly what happened, but there was this one thing where Carl Walker... Yeah, he got in behind, he got very tight, and then he kind of like ripped him to shreds, and then afterwards, it, it managed to go out for a corner somehow, and you saw Carl Walker yeah. kind of just like... Yeah. Smacking the ground. Yeah, like it being frustrated when, uh, with himself. Really when Zaha curious. left Danny Rose on his ass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Danny Rose didn't hit the ground. Danny Rose looked ready to kill something. But I think like, <laughs> hitting the ground like that just shows such a sign of like weakness. Like He was so angry with Because he had a flawless first half. He was perfect in the first half, and then he was going, oh, I've made one mistake and we nearly do you I know. call it weakness or do you call it passion yeah yeah, yeah yeah you could look at it that way I just cover your emotions a bit better man fair enough Thanks, rich thanks. coming from me yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, one thing uh, one point I was making during that game is that I really think we 
at the moment can put the Son versus Lamella debate to bed. Oh my God, so I much. I really think yeah. we miss Lamella. So much. People who say, oh, it's kind of a like for like. It absolutely no, is not. not. Lamella gives us so much more than Son. Mm. So I didn't much. think Son was terrible. I certainly wouldn't be saying that. Um, for, and also, first 10 minutes of the game, he was had the same tenacity as Lamella. He was running everywhere and he was clearly passionate. He was well yeah. up for it, which is what Lamella provides for like 80 minutes of a game. Uh, but he just, I think he lacks, he gives the ball away too much, so, Son. At and the moment, I, I really want Son to be amazing, right? And Lamella took two seasons, yeah, two and a half is, seasons. Yeah, this is not a great. case of, of, of feasting Son. And no, wait, we like, can't no. compare it in that aspect, though, the two, three. I don't think we should do that. Because Lamella was nowhere near as good as Son's been in his first season. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. So oh, I'm okay. not saying, I'm okay. not I'm not no. slagging off Son saying he's terrible. Oh, okay. I just yeah. mean, at the moment, Lamella best suits going, our team. Yeah, what we're I think, doing. Yeah. I think what, yeah. what we're and saying is And I know he was that, injured as well. I'm not saying it was yeah. like a sexual. Yeah, I mean, yeah, people yeah. who say, oh, it's fine because Son and Lamella are the yeah. same. It's a like for they're like. Actually, it is it's not, not a like for like. I think they're actually very no, different not. players. And the longer the season goes on, I think we're starting to see that more and more. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for our team and our system, I think Lamella is imperative at yeah. the moment. I've seen it definitely with the whole Son thing. But I. Son's a good player, though. We can't, player. We can't oh, deny that. Player. He's a good player, but and, I just don't and, think he suits what we're doing at the moment. And for me, I think he's... Son over Chadley every day, yeah. Yeah, and for me, I think he's a good impact sub at the moment. I don't. Mm. I wouldn't necessarily put him in the starting eleven. Then, obviously, I know Lamella was injured, which is why we picked him. Yeah. Um, but I really felt like, you know, we talked about the pressing and the aggression needed at Anfield, and I do feel like we really miss that with Lamella yeah, we not do. being yeah. there and Son we playing. Because, like you said, giving away the ball, he did it so many times. And you can't... You can't afford to do that. It doesn't mm. matter with Liverpool are down tenth. You can't afford to do that at Anfield against them. Lamella would have given away a few free kicks though. Yeah. But that's cool. That's you know, it's just part of him <laughs> being, you know. It's his style. That's what, he, that's what he likes to do. Yeah. Uh, did we also miss a bit of pressing potentially with Eric Dyer worrying about getting booked? Yeah, I mean, we oh. are approaching now this amnesty. We've got one more game to go, the Man yeah. United game. If he can avoid a yellow card in that game, it means all the yellow cards are wiped, he can't get banned. He's on nine yellow cards at the moment. And he hasn't been booked in his last three games, so he's doing really well in that respect. But I do think, I mean, he didn't make a single tackle against Liverpool on Saturday. He didn't have a bad game, but I think that extra element, you know, we know he'll stick his foot in. A bit like we said about Lamella before, we'll stick his foot in. That time's where you need someone to kind of take one for the team. That's yeah. what Dyer yeah, is the always there line, doing. Yeah. The break. And this time on Saturday, it wasn't there. And I do think it's because in his mind, he's yeah. thinking, God, I can't get booked again, you know? Reece, so, me, and, me and Emma was discussing it. Would you have taken... Dyer getting a yellow card and a win at Anfield and then him getting suspended for the next two games to get a win at Anfield? Oh, God. That is so extremely Would you have done it? good question. Well, Personally, I would have did it. To get a win at Anfield, I would, have, I, would have, I would have taken him out of the game for... Who have you got? Man United and then who? Uh, who have we got? Stoke. 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 Stoke away. Would you, would you have taken it? I, you I could make a case will. for the fact that you need, you need Dyer playing like that more in the Liverpool game than you need him in against Man United. But Man United have got the most points against the top six this yeah. season. Yeah, but oh, and Liverpool, Liverpool have got the second most. No, I think it would be worth, and I really hope it doesn't come down to this, like, if you're watching this, Eric, don't listen to this advice, but I'd rather he took a book in against United and missed Stoke and West Brom. It means we get the win against United. I'm glad that he didn't get booked to Anfield because I think we're going to yeah. really need him on Sunday. But I think we can get, like, even with that, without that, I think we, we have a strong chance of getting a win against Man United. Do you know what I mean? Anfield, like, we even spoke about the goal. Yeah. If he went in yeah. for a challenge, yeah. there wouldn't have been that simple one-two around him like he and did it was, And it was such a shame because it's so, it's so undire like I think, from how he's performed this season to kind of see someone so easily yeah. turn him inside out And like I think that. Coutinho and Sturridge was aware of it. I mean, yeah. Klopp's probably told them he's on a yellow card. Yeah. He's yeah. going to be yeah. reluctant to commit yeah. in certain challenges. Mm. Yeah. Although I didn't really think Sturridge was aware of much in that game, oh, to be honest. Oh, God, Sturridge was rubbish. Yeah, <laughs> rubbish. Um, <laughs> yeah, anyway, that's one a whole thing, different he's debate. Good though, but yeah. <laughs> one thing Dyer did do that was characteristic of Dyer is uh, he protected Deli Alley, didn't he? Oh, in that he photo did. that everyone's sharing. Wow. Everyone, everyone's loving that photo, including Deli Alley, uh, who uh, re, uh, not retweeted, sorry, Instagrammed a uh, quote that somebody had done out on Twitter, and I think we've all seen it, seen it now, where he's like, Eric Bates, <laughs> just leave it, it's not worth it. That is and hilarious. Eric comes back, Deli? Go and sit in the car. <laughs> Delhi, go and sit in the car. You can almost hear them saying it. Um, no, it's, I mean, as if there was any more proof of the bromance. Do we need yeah. any more proof? No. Oh, of course it not. So it just, it's just different level after different level. But it's so, I absolutely love seeing our players so committed to each other on the field like that. And we've seen it before as well. We've seen Kane and Ali get involved in things. You know, none of our boys want to be le uh, uh, being left on their own. It's like no, everyone no. is there sticking up for each other. Together, and THFC. Eric and Deli are just the, yeah. Eric and Deli are just the ultimate version exactly. of that. Exactly. But it's, it's great. Nice. It's so it's great. Nice. They're literally bum chubbers, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> they love each other. 
Is it? Is there a rivalry now between uh, Toby and Jan's bromance? And I, I don't think there is a rivalry. I think Eric, Eric and Deli's is is. It is up here compared peaking, to but maybe it's just because Jan's not playing at the moment that we're not seeing it as well, much. Well, well, you don't maybe. know what's going on behind there is, closed doors. There is also a sneaky Nothing third... Nothing tops the Belgian <laughs> romance. <laughs> well, no, there's also a sneaky third contender, Vimmer and Son. We've seen a lot of Vimmer social media Sun, love yeah. Vimmer and Son. So there's three lots of bromances in there. Fair enough. For I the think fight. there's four. Yeah, Vimmer, Vimmer and Son's a bit bland. I think <laughs> there's four because Kane and Ericsson uh, double date together. They do. Ah, Aww. New York trips. Adele. <laughs> Craig, I know this is a Spurs channel, but you have been very keen for weeks to talk about Adele on this oh, channel. Oh, so, I am uh, a big Adele why. fan. That's why we talk about Adele on this Spurs <laughs> No, Adele. Sorry, Adele. Oh, God, not oh. deaf. <laughs> what, not a uh, deaf. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to tell us about Adele? Oh, so Reckon she flag. performed at the O2 Arena. And amongst okay. shouting at Stormzy on stage, yeah, plug Stormzy, uh, <laughs> she held up a Spurs flag yes! with great pride. Oh. And uh, she's, yeah, man, she's a local girl. She loves us. She's cheering she does, us yeah. on. Yeah, to bring does. it out in front of like 30,000 people at the O2, though, she doesn't have to do that. No. Bloody love her. Like, no musicians do that. She's really out here. Yeah, she's yeah, really yeah, on course. Seven Sisters High Road. That's because she's Getting her chicken and chips. She's she goes girl. to matches. I've seen her oh, yeah. before. Oh, yeah. Sat in those posh seats at the Upper West Stand. No, 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 Daniel mate. Levy sits. No, no. <laughs> seen her sat there. She's right in there, mate. <laughs> she's in, in the thick of it. She's, she's in the thick of it, going mad. With her flag. With a beer. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. And a pie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pucker. She looks like she likes a couple of pies. All right, mate. Oh. What? She no. does? Oh, oh what? Right. No What's wrong with that? What is wrong that. with that? There's nothing Come wrong on. with that. There's what? There's like, I like a couple of pies. Come on, guys. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Adele, good on you. Have a couple of pies and drink a couple of beers. <laughs> Okay, well, that is the end of Spurvo. It's what a yeah, place to end Yeah, thank God it. it's the end of Spurvo. Let us know your thoughts. The big <laughs> question is, can we still win the league? Are you feeling pessimistic or are you as hopeful as Emma is that we're still <laughs> going to win it? Um, should Adele be in as many parties as she wants? Uh, what was Carl Adele, you eat as much as you want. Okay, oh, Adele. God. Son versus Lamella. Is that debate over? Let us know in the comments. Um, would you take... Answer Craig's question about dire booking. Would you have taken it at Anfield? and not have it against Man United, or would you take it against Man United, or would you hope that he avoids it completely? Um, Dyer and Ali's bromance. Who's got the best bromance? Let us know what you think. Uh, and subscribe if you're new. Give us a like on the video, and we will see you next time. Hello, everyone. It's Barnaby. It's Spurred On. It's Monday. That means your weekly dose of the five things we learnt, and this time from the Liverpool match, which, of course, finished Liverpool 1, Tottenham Hotspur 1, in the 5.30pm late Saturday kickoff. I was at Anfield.